it up, pick it up, groove. Baby girl, watch how you move. What? I got them vests on my shoes. I I'll pop a pin and I lose. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry for being so late. I just wanted to do an initial review on this hair that um, that was sent to me. Y'all, hair is being sent to me. And the company is Queen Weave Beauty. Let me get the email so I can make sure I'm saying everything right. I did not open it yet. I'm going to unpackage it with you guys. I'm reviewing hair from Queen Weave Beauty LTD. I'm going to cut the package open to show y'all what it looks like. I'm just going to rip and here it comes with like hold on it comes with some cards so i'm going to read to you what's on the cards that it came with so it has this first one it says very important it says when you receive the hair please do quality check carefully within within seven days they have no refund or exchanges for hair being installed cut dyed damaged or chemically processed here then they say you can get a full refund by sending the hair back in its original condition. Shipping address is not clear or wrong, so make sure that your shipping address, uh, your shipping address is correct. Oh, I just washed my hair, by the way. That's why I look crazy. This book, this little booklet, it's their Virgin Hair Catalog. They show you all their um, their different textures. They have little pictures here to show y'all like the different people with the different textures. Now they give you this paper that says instruction, sealing wefts. So y'all, make sure you seal your wefts like regardless. So I feel like most of the shedding comes from not sealing the wefts, but I expect it to shed. But like sealing your wefts does help. I did that with my curly hair. Um, they say do not cut the weft, so always do the flip over method where like when you sew you flip instead of like cutting. Then they say shampooing. Select, they say select appropriate shampoo for your hair type and extensions. Wash your hair at least one to two times per week to eliminate product buildup. That's true, I always wash my hair at least once a week, two times a week. Anytime my hair starts feeling stiff. I wash it. Use a clarifying shampoo to remove product buildup for normal washing organic. Oh, they recommend the organics Moroccan oil products and Dove Nutritive Therapy Nourishing Oil Care products works well with their hair. So those are the products that works well with their hair. So try to use those products because you might run into problems if you use like something they don't recommend. Follow instructions on the conditioner. I'm so dramatic. But this is just like, like common sense. Like what you would do to your natural hair, kind of do it to your extension. Like make sure you wash your hair when it's not up to par. Because then you're going to complain about it being tangled. You're going to complain about it shedding, stuff like that. And like one thing, hair do shed because my blonde hair sheds a lot. Okay, hair care products. Alcohol and sulfur free. Recommended brand Dove and Pantene. The ones I told you before, the Dove um, Nutritive Therapy Oil Care Shampoo and Conditioner, Pantene Pro-V um, Smooth and Sleek Shampoo and Conditioner, Organics, Organics Moroccan Oil, Moroccan Ergon Oil, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Purple Essences, Hello Hydration Shampoo. They do not recommend Shea Moisture Hairline, Cream of Nature Aragon, Aragon Oil. They don't recommend those. They show you some pictures of like the ones they do recommend. They say too much leave-in conditioner or other hair products will create buildup on the hair, causing it to tangle. Maybe that's why like you know most of the like wigs that you guys that us people that we wear that we wear, the back of the neck always tangles. I think it's because of like product buildup because the hair at the top is like most visible so like the back of your neck you shouldn't put a product there if that makes sense because then it starts getting like I don't know like tangly really quickly also give you some options on what kind of hair dye you can use they recommend Revlon color silk dyes and strongly recommend deep conditioning the hair after dyeing which will protect the hair from being dry conditioning the hair well after dye is very important. The picture right here is showing you stretched and then wavy. So it shows you how to measure it. And it says 3 months is maximum for weave on head reinstall after natural hair have 1 to 2 week break. Wow. 
they care about your natural hair too. They even say to give your hair a one to two week break. That's really good. I wear a wig so I can take them out whenever I feel like it. But I always wash my hair. The longest I'll go without washing my hair is three weeks. Maybe if I'm lazy. I don't go past three weeks because then my hair starts breaking and my hair is itchy. But yes. Look at that. That's so cute. They also um tell you how to bleach your knots. I got three bundles of Body Wave. Let me make sure. Three bundles of the Brazilian Body Wave in the lengths 20, 24, 22. And I'm going to take them out of the packaging in a minute. I'm just going to show you guys the frontal. Because I got a frontal in the lengths 18. It's a Body Wave Texture pre-plucked frontal. 13 by 4, 18 inches. It looks like this. It doesn't... It looks so good. Let me see. And the lace is my color as well. Wow. I'm still going to bleach the knots, but... I'm going to show y'all up close what the lace looks like. Because it looks so good. This is how it looks. There's a lot of space. Well, not a lot, a lot of space, but decent amount of space. The hair looks so good. I'm going to be bleaching this hair to capacity. And I love any frontal that has the little sealed off bottom. Like, y'all already know. I made a video of me making a wig before, and I hate those. And it's pre-plucked as well. I'm still going to go in and pluck it a little bit, but it has a natural hairline looks amazing straight out the packaging I know how my hair is gonna add based on the frontal so this not shedding I know it's gonna act right I'm gonna take out the 24 inches so I'm running my fingers through it right now look at this hair Look at the weft. The 24 is kind of small, but you know, the longer the left, eh, the longer the weft, the smaller the weft. <laughs> but yeah, this is a 24 inch. This is how it looks. It does not have a smell, like it. It does not have a chemical smell or nothing like that. This is. Wait, can y'all even see? Oh, sorry. This is how it looks. Look at the ends. The ends are really nice and healthy. Love. This is the 22. This one's just a little bit bigger. Let me show you. It's a little... Wait. Yeah. Tad bit. 22, 24. Tad bit bigger. This is nice. 22. This is the 22. And this is the 24. It's really nice. This bundle, this is my 20 inch bundle. No shedding. But then again, I don't expect it to shed when it's in this tight rubber band. So, I'll tell you better when I make the wig and stuff. I'm going to show you the wefts next to each other. So, you can see them next to each other. The 20 and the 22 kind of look similar. But this is the 20, 22, 24. You see, this one's the smallest. But look how thick... Look how thick that is. For three bundles, this is really good. And a frontal. And, because I really want to bleach this hair. I'm going to do a video on that. So, stay tuned for the second video. And I'm going to show y'all how to slay these bundles. Also, this is how they come. They come like with these gold things around them. So, yeah the end of this section of the video but I'll have another part coming up on how I construct the wig and dye these bundles 
And then I'm going to have another video on me installing it and giving my updates on it. So, this hair is so soft though. I'll see you guys in my next video coming out soon. And I hope y'all enjoyed this one. So,